I was pregnant at 15 and I had him at 16. Back then, in your days, uh, was that, was that uh, abnormal for a 15-year-old to get yeah. pregnant? Mm -hmm. I think a couple years later is when they came out with, like, that MTV thing. Teen Mom. Teen Mom, yeah. But, I mean, there was a few, maybe, like, three females in high school that were also pregnant. Um, but, yeah, it was not common. Not like today's times. Not like today, no. Now, was this planned? No. I mean, no, it wasn't planned. But it was more of because I was so young-minded and st I wouldn't say stupid, but I was like real, um, you know, gullible, naive back then. Um, I, I thought like a child. Um, you know, you kind of want to have um, a baby to hold on to, you know, that person. I think kind of it was like in between, yeah. When you first found out you were pregnant, what were you thinking? What was going through your mind at that time? Initial reaction. Uh, all, like a whole bunch of emotions, scared, shocked. Part of me, the crazy part like of me was like, yes. You know, um, all different types of emotions. Yeah, I really can't remember. Um, I was just real confused at that time. How'd you um, find out? I didn't get my period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, what did your parents think when they found out? And when did you, how soon did you tell them? Or how soon did they find out? Probably like a little bit right after. Like I've always been open with my parents. Um, I remember my father was very upset. He hung up on me and uh, he called right back, but my mom, she was, they were like really upset. They were really upset. You me, but they were supportive. I couldn't have done it without them. Did somebody uh, snitch on you or did you just admit to it? No, I just said it. Mm. Yeah, I just said it. That's something like that, like, you can only hide for so long. Plus, I always had that open communication with my parents, so I was scared, yeah. And I already know what their reaction, but what can you do? Who'd you tell first? My mom. Mm -hmm. She was easier to talk to than your dad? Well, um, my parents, they were like divorced, so oh. um, my father lived um, like elsewhere, so I would always conversate with him on the phone, and I live with my mom, so I told my mom first because I was there, and then I called my dad, or I think my mom called my dad. Either way, I spoke to him. <laughs> Is this something you just, you're at the dinner table and you just say, or you have to sit her down to tell, tell the news, you just? I don't really remember. Just curious. Yeah, I don't remember. It seems so long ago. Was there any, and this can be a tough question to, to, to talk about, but was there any thoughts of an abortion? It was um, discussed, but like in my mind, um, I didn't want to. I didn't want to. There was discussed, yeah, definitely brought up. But in my mind, I didn't want to. And it wasn't just because I wanted to keep, you know, my, my ex at the time, like, it wasn't, it was more of like that um, feeling I had inside of me. Mm. There is, and we talked about it earlier in the segment, there is a show on MTV called Teen Mom, mm -hmm. where they show a few couples going through a teen pregnancy. How realistic is that show? Have you seen it? Have, I've we, watched a few times, like, not like, like, I rarely watch TV, but I remember seeing a couple episodes my, I like, I feel like my teen pregnancy was probably like the worst. Um, you know, I had two, two kids by the age of 19. Um, and, you know, my child's father, um, like, 
was in, went like was incarcerated like for ten years. Oh wow! So he's like never been a part of their life or anything. So I think I had it really bad. Like I couldn't have did it without my family. Yeah. Both children had the same father. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When did okay? When did his incarceration start? Like, what's the timetable? You have the first child at fifteen. My, I have my son at sixteen. I have my daughter at nineteen. At um, what point does he go to? Because there's county jail, then there's prison. Yeah, he was in federal prison. Um, when my daughter had turned one. Oh. So like baby, baby. Mhm. Mm now, um, you did have a good support system. Yes. Luckily, thank thankfully, if I don't know what I would do if I didn't. How about on the uh, the uh, the the uh, your baby's father side of things? They were never really involved. Um, that's a whole other topic, but. Um, it's kind of like a, a vicious cycle. You know, he, his, the paternal, like his side, he didn't grow up with the father. Um, like it's just a vicious cycle, mm. you know? Yeah. I see. Looking back, was it easy or hard being a teen parent? Hard, that's the hardest struggle I've ever did, ever done. But it's like the most rewarding for me. Explain mm -hmm. both. What was the the hardest struggle of it, and what was the best reward? You just lose your childhood at such a young age, and you don't really even realize what you're getting yourself into. Like, um, like I wasn't prepared for it. I was, I was like still in high school, and I didn't have no money. I didn't have no car. I didn't have anything. I wasn't even like of age to like. I was just of age to do all that stuff. Um, you lose your your childhood at such a young age. Um, but if I didn't have my kids at such a young age, I wouldn't be like the woman that I am now. Um, they like pushed me to always, you know, do better, to go to college and join the military. And just like, they just like pushed me to do so much more for myself, you know? So um, I'm thankful for them. Did you stay in high school or did you have to drop out? Um, I got my GED, and then went like I got my GED while I was going to college. <laughs> so like I was ready to like boom, like be an adult. You know, I was ready to grow up and take responsibility, be an adult. That wasn't working out. It wasn't working out. So I did get my GED, um, and the college and working. Like I worked two jobs and I was going to college. Um, a community college that wasn't working out, so I was like, you know, I have to do something. Um, so I joined the military, and that was probably like a great stepping stone to do that um, to help myself. You know, when I got my degree after that, and then um, I lost my father, which then like um, made me do like a different perspective in life. So that's what actually made me want to do modeling. I've only been modeling since July. Um, but like my father's death actually like changed like the way I think about life. You know, I don't want to be a worker. You know, I want to like create my own future. You know, life is all about happiness, self-happiness and doing what you want to do. Because I could die after I leave here. You know what I'm saying? But at least I'll be happy that I'm doing this with you know, with you, like, doing this interview and stuff, so. What grade did you drop out? 11th. I think it was 11th grade. It just got too much for you? Um, I th yeah, it, was, I, it wasn't too much for me. I just wanted to hurry up and be an adult. That was all that. Like, I wanted to focus on going, get working and making money. Mm, like I got tired of my mom like helping me buy pampers and all that stuff, you know, like I wanted to work And do that for myself. Was this a suggestion from your parents to, to hey drop out? No, no, okay. they, they wanted me to do the right thing But I wanted to do my own thing when you made that decision. What, what did they think? What was their reaction? You want to drop out? They were mad. 
mad again. <laughs> Everyone hates Sarah in my family. I'm like the black sheep. They all hate me. They, they still hate me. No, they love me. But, so, um, um, yeah, they want me to stay in school and all that stuff. But, like, you know, I just felt like that was the right thing to do for me and my, my children. You end up having the second child after you drop out. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> learn. I didn't learn. I didn't learn. If one wasn't enough, <laughs> <laughs> you really want to be an adult. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, fast forwarding. Mm -hmm. The child's father. Mm -hmm. um, good terms at this point? Um, Maybe not. No. I mean, we're not on good terms. I mean, um, I don't like to talk all his business, but he was released. And um, there was never that bond, you know, that, that bond. And we kind of lost communication. Um, but from what I hear, he's back um, in, in prison for more serious charges. So, like, so. Did you try to keep the communication going? Or? Absolutely, yes. I think it's very important. Very. How um, tough was that dealing with the, his incarceration and having your a young you know, mom? In the beginning, it was real tough for me. In the beginning, like, I was struggling. But then one day I woke up and like, I need to do something with myself. I need to do something with my life. That he he made that decision for himself. You know, I just like matured one day. Like like I matured because of my children, but I matured as far as like um how I wanted my relationship to be. You know, like I was faithful to him and everything and I'm like what am I doing you know I had to focus on me yeah very tough circumstance yeah I've, I've had a tough life but life is what you make it so did you have to visit him with the kids and all I, that? I did all that I d did all that yeah though I regret it no, but but I kind of do because like that's not how children should see their you know their parent. But that's the only way they could see. You know, it was kind of like, um, and my kids are young; they didn't know. They thought it was just work. It was job. Now that they're older, you know, I try to tell them a little bit, but not too much. Yeah, I still kind of shelter them, but I also like to keep it real with them, too, especially my son, you know, because he really didn't grow up with a father. So um, he um, I can't teach him how to be a man. You know, you can't you, you need that father figure and the mother figure. I can't teach him how to be a man. Um, so I try to talk to him, not shelter him. Somebody watching this, let's say uh, they've just become, heard the news that they're going to be a teen parent. Mm -hmm. Circumstances could be different for everybody, but mm -hmm. any general advice you would say to somebody that just found out the news, they're about to be a teen parent? Talk to God. Talk to God. Mm. Yeah. That's all you can really do is talk to God and ask Him to lead you the way. Because especially as a, as a teen, um, not even like a young adult, period. Um, you know, it's just like such a big decision. Like it's just such a big decision, especially when even when you're you pl even when like you have money and you plan for it, you're never really prepared. You know, so. Having a child, like, changes your life. Always for the better, though. You know, like, I, that's how I feel. No matter what the situation is, that's always a blessing. 
um, you could always find a way to make it work. But you always, you have to talk to God. You do. He's the only one that can lead you in the right direction. Are you done having children? Yeah. I don't want any more. But I do, I get, be, I get baby fever. Now, like, I'm in a better position. Like, I, I could, like, ha have, you know, another child if I wanted to and financially support it the way I should. Like, I'm in that position now. But now I'm like, I, I just want to focus on me. Like, if I met somebody worth it, because I've been through so many struggles, I know what I want. Um, if I met somebody, I wouldn't say worth it, but if God brought somebody in my life and that's what God wanted, then maybe. But as far as right now, I know. I don't want no more baby kids. 